We're in Egypt, an ancient land of monuments like the pyramids and the Sphinx. There are miles and miles of desert with only the occasional traveler. <clears throat> the occasional traveler? Down here, please. If you like very old things, and if you know where to look, oh! There's no telling what you might dig up. Like this priceless vase from the time of Queen Cleopatra, or King Tut's teapot. Eureka! A mummy. An ancient Egyptian mummy. Ooh, I must bring it to the Cairo Museum at once. People will come from all over to say, ooh, ah. Now, all I have to do is get it there. <gasps> Still a long way to the museum. I need a cool drink. You stay here. <laughs> Watch out! He's not wearing his glasses! I only need my glasses to read. <gasps> Are you ready to eat? Yes. Oh, yes! yes. 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 <laughs> Have you all washed your hands? Oh, oh yes! yes. 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 We yes. yes. Oh, yes. yes. Of course. Yes. yes. Hungry. Uh -oh. One alfala, one makluta, one hummus pitahini, and you had the yakni samak. Excuse me, I left my mummy outside, and could you please watch her while I make a call to the Cairo Museum and have a refreshing drink? A fine thing, leaving his mummy outside in this heat. What manners! Why, if he were my son, I... Oh, how rude of me. Please, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Ihab El Adog. And you are? Ah, but my dear lady, there is no need to be shy. Do please come inside and cool off a bit. I insist, madam, you'll be much more comfortable inside. Please, allow me to be of assistance. See, you are as stiff as a sarcophagus. You must have had a long journey in the desert. I find it hard to believe your son would leave his poor mummy unattended. A thousand pardons, madam. Wow! Whoa! Here, let me put your feet up. Goodness, your poor feet are like wood. No wonder you can't walk. That son of yours must have made you walk for miles. My dear madam, do try and relax. Ah, I have an idea. Ah, madam, some music will surely relax you. Why, as a matter of fact, uh, may I have this dance? Oh, no! But you're a wonderful dancer, light as a feather. And allow me to compliment you. You have such exquisite eyes. I'll be at the museum in just a little while. I just stopped in the cafe for a lemonade. <gasps> oh, yes, it's a beautiful mummy. No, no, nothing to worry about. She's in good hands. Ah, a faster pace. <laughs> Oh, please, a moment to catch my breath. Oh, goodness, I can hardly keep up with you. You must be quite thirsty. You are so mysterious, madam. I find that very attractive. You, sir, yes, you. Please, stop staring at the lady. I'm warning you, my friend, the elegant lady is with me. Very wise, my friend, for had you persisted, I would have made you look mighty silly. Name, blackguard, sneaky guy, hit a man when his back is turned, will you? Why, I'll show you. Aha! Here you are. 
You're fast, my friend, I'll give you that, but you're no match for my quick reflexes. Ah, Professor, may I please uh, have a word with you? Why, yes, certainly. It's about your dear mother. Pardon me? My mother? Yes, young man. Now, first of all, you have treated your mother very badly. Uh, I have? Well, thanks for taking care of my mummy. Oh. Ah, oh. I say, have you ever seen anything like it? Madam must travel on the roof. What a dreadful son the professor is. Madam. Oh, poor madam. So, in the end, Professor Digg delivered his mummy to the Cairo Museum. And she became quite an attraction. Why, madam, I am so happy to see you. My, don't you look relaxed. And after such a long trip in the desert, I certainly hope your son is treating you better. I remember our last dance fondly. Perhaps we can do it again sometime. As a matter of fact, uh, what are your plans this afternoon?